Welcome to all of you on the channel Maths Guni. So today we are going to learn some problem related to the geometry. In particular, this topic have been taken from New Slavers Mathematics Seventh Edition, D1 Maths, Chapter Number Ten. So first of all, we are going to learn about parallel lines and transversal line. So what does it mean by parallel line? It's a very simple definition for parallel line is that. Parallel lines are the lines which cannot intersect each other. No matter how much further you extend them, they are never going to meet each other. Like one line is like this, and one line is like this. So these two lines are parallel lines because no matter how much you extend from either from this side, either from this side, either from this side, either from this side, they are never going to meet. Now in, this is not the only case where you can take parallel lines. Parallel lines could be. Also be like this, all right. These are also parallel lines. These are also parallel lines. It is not always important to have parallel lines along the x-axis. You can take like this. Okay. So over here, we have just learned that what are parallel lines. Now, what does it mean by transverse line? Transversal line. Transversal line is a line that cuts parallel lines. All right. Now we have two parallel lines, so this is the transversal because this transversal cut these two lines, and this is also the transversal because this transversal is cutting these two parallel line, parallel line. So now once a transversal cut two or more than two parallel lines, it makes some angles. What type of angle? We have alternate angle. We have opposite angle. We have corresponding angle. We have vertical angles. So there are many angles that we have when a transversal cut a parallel line. So today we are going to talk about some few of the angles, and I want all of you to please have your copy and pen with you and note it down every single question and make sure that you are getting true concept by writing all the possible solutions. Okay. So first. We are going to solve a basic level question to for the better understanding of the students. So you see, these are the two parallel lines. How do we realize that these are the two parallel lines? Because there is an arrow on these two lines as well. So AB and CD are two parallel lines, and PQ is a transversal that cuts these two lines. All right. If you look at this question, there are few angles that been given to us. Like this angle is seven E. And this angle is 3e. E. So basically, in all these three questions, we have to find out the unknown of involved in all these questions. So over here, we have the variable e, which we need to find out. In this question, we have f, and over here, we have b. So now there are some laws that you must need to understand and you must need to remember while solving all these questions. Okay. So these we know that these two angle are lying inside of parallel line. This is a parallel line. This is a parallel line, and it's a transversal cut them. Seven E and three E. If you look at these two angle carefully, you will you will realize that these two angle are lying inside of parallel line. Inside of parallel line. So every time when we take when when the two angles are lying inside the parallel line, their sum is going to be one eighty degree always. That is a must condition and a very well known formula. So seven e plus three e, their sum is how much? One eighty degree. All right. So now it's a very simple mathematical equation. If you have watched all my previous video, then you must have an idea how to solve this. The how to solve this equation. So seven e plus three is going to give you ten e is equals to one eighty degree. So E will be over here. You will shift ten to the other side of the equation. Cut this zero with this zero. E is going to be eighteen degree. So we have just found that the value of E is eighteen degree. That that was a question to find out the unknown involved all this question. If somewhere you have to find out how much in particular this angle is or how much particular this angle is, just plug in the value of E over here. And plug in the value of e over here. You will get that how much this angle is. I am not going to do one more step, and I want all of you to do it. Just plug in the value of 18 over here, and over here multiply 7 with 18 and 3 with 18. 
So once you add these two value, your answer should be 180 degree. This is a cross check. If somewhere by plugging the value of E, you are not getting the answer 180 degree, it means that you did something wrong. So this is the step that I am leaving for all of you to do it yourself and let me know whether you are getting the right answer or not. If somewhere you are, you are not getting the right answer, then you can always comment on it. All right. Now this is a, another question where we have two parallel lines. I am not going to repeat parallel lines. We have a transversal A, B, C, D parallel lines. P, Q is a transversal that cut these two lines. And now we have this angle and we have this angle. Now this time angles, these two angle, this is this angle and this is this angle. Now these two angle over here in this case, the angles are line inside the parallel line and on the same side and on the same side over here the angles are lying inside the parallel line that is no doubt about it but the angles are lying opposite to the transversal line why opposite you can see that this and this angle is on this side and this angle is on this side so over here the angles are lying on opposite side of the transversal so once the angles are like this, so alternate, these are called alternate angles. What are alternate angles? When a transversal cut two parallel lines and the angles are lying opposite side of the transversal, then, then we can say that these are alternate angles. And this must be, if this angle is inside, this has to be inside. That's why they are alternate angles. Now over here, the angles are lying also the opposite side, but these are not alternate angles. You got my point? If so, over here, they both should lie on opposite side of the transversal and inside of the parallel line. So alternate angles are always equal. So we can write in this solution, 2f plus 6 is equal to 3f minus 23. So you see how easy that question have become by just understanding the concept. And I am quite sure that you can solve this question yourself. No, no, you do have a very good concept. Okay, Jeff, over here we have to have, over here we have three. We need to write a similar term at one side. So six will, over here, shift that 23 from this side to the other side. It's become 23. And over here we have three F. Now shift that this two F to the other side. 23 plus six is going to be 29. Three F minus two F is F. So F is equals to 29 degrees. So that's what your answer is. Again, again, you can cross check your uh, solution whether you got the right answer or not by plugging the 20, F is equals to 29 in this equation. And you will see that the uh, left hand side and the right, or, right hand side of the equation are becoming equal. That's why we have the equality. This is for you to solve this. Again, on the third step, on the third question, we have two parallel lines again, AB and CD are the two parallel lines and we have a transversal PQ that cut these two parallel lines. Now you got to be very careful, you got to pay your, you have to pay your focus, please pay your focus and watch this video with your full attention. Now we can't write 4B minus 10 is equals to 2B minus 2 like the way we did over here because these were the alternate angles. Now over here, these are not the alternate angle because one angle is inside of the parallel line and the other angle is outside the parallel line. So that's why I am solving all these three questions in one video so that you can have a quick comparison about how to solve these questions. Now, 2B minus 2 is over here. We know that the vertical angles and the opposite angle are always equal when a transversal when a transversal cut a parallel line, the opposite angles are equal. So if this angle is 2B minus 2, that is going to be 2B minus 2 as well. Okay. This is now this is the definition of the vertical angle. Since these two are the parallel lines and the transversal cuts them, so vertical angle and opposite angle are going to be equal. So these two are the opposite angle. That's why we can write that this angle is also 2B minus 2. Now, if you look this question and this question, now it has become same. Or here, these were the two interior angle lying inside the parallel line. Their sum was 180. So that is the same case. Now you are going to apply over here. Now these two have become the interior angle of the parallel line as well. 
Now, if they are the interior angle of the parallel lines, then their sum should be equal to 180 degree. degree. So 4b minus 10 plus 2b minus 2 is equal to 180 degree. Very good. Now you can solve this, uh, this step very easily. 4b plus 2b is going to give you 6b. Minus 10 minus 2 is going to give you minus 12 equals to 180 degree. Okay, now you need to shift this 12 to the other side of the equation. So 6b equals to 180 plus 12 which will be 192. Now you need to find out the value of b. So you have to shift this 6 from this side of the equation to the other side. It will be b is equals to 192 over 6. Now simplify this. 6, 3 is a 6 times 3 is actually 18, 1 carry 12, so 6, two the two, 6 times 2 actually 12. So B is equals to 32 degree. B is equals to 32 degree. So that is the, your answer in this, in this. So please, if you have got these questions, make sure you are subscribing it and please share this video as much as you can so that it might help many. Plus don't forget, plus don't forget to have the comparison the way I have explained.